again, I haven't started rushing yet. You're moving away, covering up. You don't want to get caught with no clean shots. If they need them in the cage, was that way division? Savinis catches Pimbla with two big right hands. You'll overhook on one side. Keep everything tight. Singeing down on that. I, I think Pimbla was lucky there. Savinis is on the very... Well, control is this here. Something else I like to do when I do this is around my head. Use your head. Push the back of his head down. Let his balance go even worse. So over here, knee up the middle. He'll feel that right away because his whole body here is open. He's got nothing to protect it. So you go knee again. And then the pair times, like, oh, I don't want to take one of them, don't want to take one of them. So he brings his arm in as you go knee this time. Throw your arm, leg over the top. The full extension to drive it, and there's the flying triangle! Make sure you go foot in his hip and grab his shin. What I see a lot of people do when they triangle, they just let go of this leg and go foot in the hip. If I do that, all I've got to do is sit up. Pimbo with the flying triangle! He's got Savinis locked up! Foot in the hip, push, get your angle, lock it back up when you lock it up as well, don't lock it up like that, with a big massive gap, you've got to pull your angle as tight as you can, in the back of your kneecap, squeeze everything in. Switchy for the arm here, he takes a big squeeze from Paddy the Betty, he's got the angle, he's got the extension, and there's a submission, Paddy the Betty is back! about the car. Grab your shin, foot in the hip, and tighten it. And remember though, because it's MMA, you don't just have to do that, you can be here, you can be landing elbow. You can start to get him in his stomach, whatever you want.